Hi, this is a walkthrough for including conditional text inside of a PowerPoint document. To do this, we must use Excel as middleware. In our example, we're going to be referencing the employee field on the account object. To begin, we must navigate to the DDPs tab, then select the appropriate DDP. Next, we're going to open up the field tagger and ensure that Excel slash PDF is chosen in the document type dropdown. Then we're going to ensure that the object we want to grab fields from is chosen in the main object dropdown. Then finally, choose the field we want to evaluate in the field dropdown. Once we have the field tag, we can copy it and then gain access to our Excel file, whether it's from our desktop or from Salesforce. Once we open up our Excel file, we must designate a spot for the field tag to be in. And note that when you're tagging an Excel document, the field tag does not go in the cell and in fact goes in the cell range. Once you have inserted the field, we must next make our formula. Designate an area for your formula and be sure to reference the cell that contains the field tag. In our case, we're evaluating whether the number of employees is greater than 50. And then for our true statement, we're going to insert the text. This company employs more than 50 people. For our false statement, we're going to display the text, this company employs less than 50 people. Once you enter the formula, you must then give the formula field a range. This range is what's going to go into the PowerPoint document. Be sure to save your Excel file, then upload or replace it within Salesforce. If you upload the Excel file by creating a new document, be sure to include it in your DDP in the Select Files section of the DDP Detail page. Next, we're going to gain access to our PowerPoint document. Once we are within the PowerPoint document, we're going to designate an area for our conditional text. And once that area is designated, we're going to paste the range that we created within Excel and surround it with angle brackets. As you can see, the field range text is the range we created within Excel in the formula cell. Now we're going to save our PowerPoint document and either upload or replace it within Salesforce. In addition to the Excel file, if you create a new document for your PowerPoint, be sure to include it in your DDP in the middle grid of the Select File section. Now we're going to give it a test run. Choose your contact if necessary, in addition to your DDP and delivery option, then choose Run. As we saw previously, this account has 100 employees, so we should receive the text, this company employs more than 50 people in the conditional text area. Now that the DDP is processed, we can download the document, open it up, and confirm that the conditional statement merged correctly. And as we browse through our PowerPoint, we can confirm that the conditional text worked correctly. And that is how you use conditional text within PowerPoint. Thank you.